I'm going to take off the upper control arm bolt so I can have the whole lower control arm assembly swing down and I can get enough room to get the shock out. So it's just this one bolt right here. And then I get to pound on this guy with a rubber helmet. All right, so I wrestled the shock out. Um, there's a clip that's on top of it, obviously. This is for the mag ride to get its signal. Um, there's a clip that you have to unclip and then pull this guy out this way. All right, these are the rears that I got. Um, 2581968 are the part number, or is the part number for the shocks in the back. I think they should refer to a Z06 from the C6 generation. And uh, this is the one that I'm taking out. reservoir here it's a uh, number 10 or 10 millimeter So here's the Tech 2 portion of uh, getting rid of the magnetic ride suspension or RTD or mag ride or F55, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I have a Tech 2 here. This is a Chinese Tech 2. It's not an official one, but it does exactly what you need it to do, um, specifically for, for getting rid of mag ride suspension. And it allows you to get um, some additional information on the car uh, as you're diagnosing it. So it's it's about 250 bucks. You probably find them as cheap as 215 ish or whatever. Uh, you have to make sure that you get a Tech 2 with a Candy C A N D I um, adapter, and you have to get the right card for the Corvette because obviously this this service is like all the other GM vehicles. So um, let's go ahead and get started with the Tech 2 portion. So one thing to note is you do need to get software version 33.004 or else this tutorial doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So we'll flip through, go ahead and hit enter, go into diagnostics, F0. Uh, I have an 05 passenger car, Chevrolet, and the C6 is a Y product line. Now I'm going to go into uh, the vehicle control systems, computer integration, integrating systems. I have a manual. Now it's going to establish communications with the BCM. Uh, and then go to the next step. So now I can do module setup, body control module, and BCM setup. Uh, this is where it starts to get a little bit scary, but don't worry. Just start flipping through it like I am. Uh, do you want to set up a new BCM? Yes. So this will take a second or two to get all the information. And the controller is locked. That's fine. We're not really going to go into the programming and uh, mess things up too much. So we're just going to go into the BCM and press enter and configure the options only. So yes. Um, again, 
flip through it, hit continue, USA car, save options. Again, waiting for data. So it's saying everything with a star is activated and deactivated when the star is not there. So I went ahead and already um, removed real-time dampening. That's why there's no star next to it. But basically all you have to do is hit enter and get the asterisks out of there. You could do a couple of these other things too while you're in here if you wanted to. Um, and then save options. I'm not gonna do it because I don't need to. And then it'll flip through it and say, okay, good job. Let's do it anyways. And then new BCM's complete. Hit continue. And then exit out of it. And then you should be good to go. Go ahead and uh, turn off the car, uh, unplug the tech two, and uh, the information on the DIC shouldn't be there anymore. Uh, if it is, just go ahead and drop a comment in the, or just drop a comment below, and I'll see what I could find out for you, and uh, we'll go from there. So, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, F55 delete. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, drop them down below. Uh, subscribe, like, and do all that stuff. So, uh, thanks a lot. Enjoy your car.